In this video, I'm going to do a quick run through of checksums and check digits for our GCSE computer science. So, a checksum. So, you will see the word checksum pop up a little bit later in the videos when I start looking at packets as they all contain a checksum. But a checksum is an error detection method. It relies on sending data in big blocks and performing a mathematical calculation. So the checksum is calculated and sent along with the actual data that you send in. The receiver then takes the data and works out the checksum separately. It then compares it to the one that is calculated. So it looks at your checksum, while well, the sender's head checksum, and it looks at its own checksum. And if they're the same, then the data is error free. If they're different, then it's very likely there's an error and it'll ask for the data to be retransmitted. It'll do an ARQ. So, there's two ways to calculate a checksum. The first step for both is to determine the total byte value of the data to be sent. Now, if that value is less than or equal to 255, then that value is the checksum. If not, it does a little bit of maths to work out. Okay? So, first things first, you divide the sum of the bytes by 256. So, let's say that my total bytes was 521. So 521 divided by 256 is 2.03515625. We're then round the answer down to the nearest whole number, which becomes y, so y would be 2. Then you times it by 256. So z equals 2 times 256, so it's 521. Then you calculate the difference. Um, and then that becomes 9, and then 9 is the checksum. Now you've got a check digit. Now a check digit is usually a part of an error detection on ID numbers. So an example is like a book's ISBN. Now we check these to see if they've been entered accurately. So it works based on the numbers in the ID and their position in the sequence. So you've got the position, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then the digits. Now the check digit is usually the eighth digit. So for CIE, for the Cambridge exam board route, um, scheme they use, is calculated by each digit in the number is multiplied by its digit position. The results are then added together. This total is divided by 11 and the remainder gives us a check digit. Now if that check digit is 10, then you replace that with an X. Okay. And that's it really, quite a simple one, quite an easy one. The main issue is just remembering how you work out the maths. So luckily you can go back and you can pause the video and look at the formulas and work them out for yourselves when you're revising and doing mock exams and practicing. And I'll see you in the next video.